All right, so what's up, y'all? Let's get straight to it. Today, we're trying to learn how to get them bunnies, them hops. So what I think a lot of people don't know coming up is that working the back of your legs is a thing to make you run faster and jump higher. But today, we're just working on, ju on the jumping part. You won't be able to dunk if you don't try and dunk over and over and over again until you get it. So let's get it. We're going to be dunking by the end of this summer. Let's get it. Ha! Alright, so first of all, make sure you get a good warm up in. You can go check that out in my description, my five minute warm up in the description. So go ahead and grab the jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you can just grab a shoe, a stick, and jump over that back and forth, back and forth, side to side. Every time you stop, and even if you don't have a shoe, you can just jump over an imaginary line. But every time you stop, do five push ups. We're doing this for three minutes, two to three times. Let's get it. And then straight to the next workout, we doing calf raises on something you can hang your feet off. For example, like stairs. We doing this workout for one minute, two to three times. So in order for you to jump higher, you need to work out the muscles on the back of your legs. So that means the calves and the hammies. After that, we doing vertical jumps. Don't walk into this jump. Just do it from your stationary position. Again, one minute, two to three sets. And after that, we're doing a two feet jump. So this time you walk into it. All this jumping is really going to help you get used to the jumping part of dunking. It's really going to work those jumping muscles. So again, do this one minute, two to three times. After that, we're doing one leg jump. So really try to get that leg is just weighing you down instead of hopping you up. Do this for one minute, two to three sets. Then switch. Now, you're probably going to feel awkward on one of your legs. For me, it's my right leg. I don't jump as high and I'm weaker on my right leg. But this is okay. We're working on strengthening it and getting that, that vertical with that right leg high. So, another one minute, two to three sets. And after that, we got them explosive jumps. So, for this one, just keep jumping. You're going to feel the urge to stop jumping. Just keep jumping for one minute, two, three sets again. Then, lastly, we got running dunks. But you probably can't dunk, so you can't. Do it to the net or to the backboard. Now, if you don't have a rim, don't be mad. You can still get the money. So you just got to do it on the wall outside your house. Now, for each workout, make sure you do it for one minute, two to three sets. I would say don't do no more than a one minute break in between each workout because you don't want your body to cool down. And lastly, be sure to stretch. And if you can, take an ice bath weekly. I would say this, do this workout four to five days and rest for like two to three days. I'm telling you, the stretching and the resting after all the jumping going to give it to you. I kept doing this workout, and I was unsuccessful with the dunk. But then I was like, okay, man, I'm done. So I stopped for like a couple, four, like four, three to four days. I came back, and I was able to dunk. I was so happy. But, yeah, so let's get it. Let's get these dunks in by the end of the summer. And I...